say how much I regret not being there today, especially given this year's EU Islands Forum takes place in my home country. But I have no doubt you will have a great time and some wonderful discussions in Saarema. Perhaps on your way to Saarema, you noticed a wind farm close to Virtu Harbour before going on the ferry. This was in fact Estonia's first wind farm, which started operating 21 years ago. When I spoke to you a year ago, I said, change is possible, change is in sight. That was on the 17th of May in 2022, on the eve of the adoption of the Repower EU plan. Our response to Putin's invasion of Ukraine and his weaponization of energy. And indeed, since that landmark moment, change has happened. Europe stood up, we remained united and we set about a profound shift in our energy system. Fundamentally, we did what many people said could not be done. Today, I'll take the opportunity to talk more about what we achieved together, where we go from here and what this means for you, islands in the EU. When Putin began using gas supply as a weapon against the European economy, we found ourselves in a difficult position. Energy prices skyrocketed and the threat of gas supply shortage and blackouts loomed. However, this did not deter us. Short term, we responded with a series of emergency measures. Medium term, under Repower EU, we began implementing a plan to make Europe independent from Russian gas, save energy and deploy more homegrown renewable energy. The results speak for themselves. We have saved energy, reducing our gas demand by 18% between last August and this March. We finished winter with gas storage 56% full, a historic high. We have also diversified our energy supplies. In March this year, EU imports of Russian gas were reduced by three quarters compared to March 2021. Norway and United States replaced Russia as the main gas suppliers to Europe. Most importantly, we accelerated the deployment of renewables and went faster down the road of the transition to clean energy. 2022 was a record year for renewables in the EU. For the first time ever, we generated more electricity from wind and solar than gas. We saw new installed wind and solar capacity grow by over 45% more than in 2021. And it's been local communities and citizens, people like you, who have been leading this solar energy boost because 60% of the new solar capacity came from the rooftop solar PVs. So, where do we go from here? We have come a long way, but the war has not yet been won. More work needs to be done to consolidate our achievements, especially in terms of renewable energy. We will only truly become energy independent once we have built an energy system with homegrown renewable energies. We have agreed a new binding target of 42.5% renewable energy in our mix by 2030. This translates into adding about one and a half times more wind and solar capacity by 2030 than we have now. To achieve that, we are working on a number of fronts. We are focused on investing in electricity infrastructure, so it's ready for the rapid uptake of renewables and electrified demand like electric vehicles or heat pumps. We have new legislation to make permitting procedures for renewable energy projects easier and faster. And it's now up to member states to implement those changes domestically. We are also putting forward a new large-scale renewable energy skills partnership to fill the clearing skills gap in our workforce. All in all, we have made 300 billion euros available to achieve these Repower EU objectives across Europe, including on islands of the EU. This brings me to my final point, what this means for you. To ensure the renewables revolution really takes off, everyone must be on board, including the islands. There are around 2,400 inhabited islands in the EU, the total population over 20 million people. When we add this up, it's the equivalent of the sixth largest EU member state. 
but it's not just the question of size. Islands have all the assets to lead the way. You possess great potential in renewable energy sources, whether it's solar, wind or tidal. Islands also have the ability to move faster to decentralized, distributed energy systems based on renewables. Solutions can be developed and tested, and then later extended to the mainland across the EU. It's incredible to think that there are islands like Samsu in Denmark and Trilos in Greece already running fully decarbonized energy systems. It's time we do more of this. It's time we tap into the full potential of islands for clean energy. This is why I'm officially launching today the 30 Renewable Islands by 2030 initiative. It puts forward concrete actions and funding ready projects with a view to rolling out 100% renewable energy by 2030 in at least 30 EU islands. There's a support scheme with assistance package for selected islands. It's tailored to energy transition needs, strength and limitations at different stages of transition. And islands will decide their own path to a carbon-free energy system. Later today, you will hear more from the EU Island Secretariat on the 30 islands, including what to expect and how to apply. But let me say just this. It's a very ambitious initiative. And please consider applying, irrespective of whether your island is in the transition or what the overall decarbonisation ambition of your country is. We will expect participants to fully commit to a 100% renewable energy power system by 2030 and draw up ambitious and realistic plans. In turn, you will get the European Commission's full political support and comprehensive tailored expert guidance and assistance. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot change our history or geography, so we need to focus on what we can change, the energy we generate and the energy we use. In my job as EU Commissioner for Energy, what I find most rewarding is hearing about real-life stories. Stories of how our work on EU energy policy translates on the ground in people's lives. I found the stories of what's happening in Halki, the Aran Islands, the Canary Islands and others, thanks to renewable energy sources, very inspiring. A happy restaurant owner telling us how his energy bill is now 14 times less expensive. A proud taxi driver with his first in Greece electric taxi. An islander talking about her energy efficient home. There is so much potential to touch lives in many different ways by decarbonizing islands' energy systems. This is your clean energy transition and we will be with you every step of the way on the journey to cleaner, greener and more affordable energy. Thank you for listening.